To you, I'm going to introduce to you my name. My name is Teacher Sarah Jane Solomon, and you can call me Jane for short. I am 30 years old, and I am from Philippines. I've been teaching English for eight years, and I have an experience working as an ESL tutor for two years. All right. So, hello, about you? What is your name? Okay, well, hello, Amy. It's nice to see you, and welcome to my class. Now, how are you, Amy? Are you happy? All right, very good. Let this year, this year is happy. I'm so happy seeing you. Okay, now, are you ready? Okay, very good. So, you are ready. I want you to listen to me and eyes on me. Okay? Very good. So now let's start. So in this lesson, I mean, you are going to learn the following. The type of the sentence, the sentence and the type of sentences. And you are going to learn also how to identify what type of sentence. And you can construct your own sentences in this. Okay, very good. So here, what is a sentence? Sentence is expresses a complete thought. It has a subject and a predicate. So now, example here: Jane loves to cook food. She loves cooking. So now here, which, which is our subject for number one? So. Please remember that when we talk about subject, this is the action done by the doer. So in this example, number one, um, the subject is the doer of the action and the verb here or the predicate is the doer of the action. Okay, rather. So number one, Jane is our subject and Jane is only one. So it's singular subject. Next last here is our verb. Or predicate. So, since we have singular subjects, so we need to use the singular word. This loves. So, that's why it coincides. Jane loves to cook food. How about number two? She loves cooking. She here is referring to a girl or a woman. And loves here is our verb. And cooking or loves cooking is our predicate. Okay. Very good. And always remember that a sentence always ends with period and question mark. Okay, very good. Now let's move forward here. Let's discuss about phrase versus sentence. Okay. Phrase. A phrase is a sequence of two or more words that make up a grammatical construction, usually lacking a finite verb and hence not a complete class. So, example, in the backyard, a beautiful girl. So, as you observe here, it's not a sentence and it's a not lacking of an idea. Okay, now let's proceed to the sentence. A sentence express, express a complete thought. It has subject and predicate. It conveys meaning with its context. She is a beautiful girl. I had a garden in the backyard. So as you observe, there are punctuation marks used in the sentence at the end of the sentence. Alright, very good. Now let's proceed. So, there are four types of sentences. The first is declarative, second is interrogative, third is imperative, fourth is exclamatory sentence. And the four of them we are going to discover in this class, in this lesson. Alright, so please listen to me and look at me. Alright, very good. So now let's talk about the creative sentence. 
What is the point of sentence? And the point of sentence or a sort of sentence is sentence that is informative and ends with a period or a full stop. For example, she dances gracefully. I love playing valuable. Do you work so hard? Okay, those are examples of the variable sentences. Next. Is interrogative sentences. Are sentences that are uh, that ask a question typically to request information? They are identified by question mark. Where do you live? When is your birthday? What do you do in your free time? So, those are interrogative. It ends with a question mark. Okay, new word. So, next, imperative sentence. An imperative sentence is a sentence that ex expresses a direct command, request, invitations, warnings, instructions. Imperative sentences do not have a subject. Instead, a directive is given to an implied second person. For example, bring me a glass of water. Do you ever touch my phone? Give me a pen and a pencil. Play with intensity and courage. So as a user, there is no subject here. But it is directed. Alright, very good. Next. Explanatory sentence. Explanatory sentence is one that expresses sudden or strong emotions and feelings. It begins with a capital letter and ends with an exclamation mark. You were meant to be back yesterday. You scared me. We won. This place is driving me up. But the wall, you're so adorable. Alright, very good. So in this one, we are going to read the following passage. Who has been brought an invitation to a dinner party organization by his office? He thought his wife would be excited by it, instead she was upset. She complained that she had nothing suitable to wear to such a great occasion. Her husband generously agreed to give her 400 francs that he had saved to buy a new rifle to get herself a dress. Matilda became anxious in the week of the party. On asking her, she told her husband that she had no jewelry policy with her gown. He suggested that perhaps she could borrow something from her friend Jean. Jean. Okay. Jean heard her story of distress and she just opened his box of jewelry. Matilda brought a spoken diamond case. Okay. There. What is the short passage all about? It's all about diamond McLeys. Borrowed from Matilda. Okay, here is an activity. Answer the following and identify the statement whether it is declarative, interrogative, imperative, and exclamatory. Number one. Please read and answer. Alright, very good. This is declarative. Next is imperative. Number three is Interrogative. Okay, very good. Interrogative. Okay, next. Oh no, that's so disgusting. So that is exclamatory. Alright, very good. You got the perfect score. Okay, so now here we are going to have our, our recap. So we have this we have discussed the meaning of a sentence, the phrase of for the people across the world and in the world. And here the types of a sentence. The first one is declarative, the second is interrogative sentence, the fourth is imperative sentence, and the and the last is exclamatory sentence. Oh very good. So Thank you so much for listening and I want you to say congratulations because you did your part and I'm so happy and so grateful for all that you do. Okay? So then we get so bye for now and hope to see you next time and uh, there is only one suggestion that I can say that you need to book a lesson with me so that your English girls will be
Can you help? Can you help?